Most people, when they think about clipping the dog's nails, get very anxious and excited about it. They think it's an extremely hard thing to do, but it really is. It's a very simple process. I'm going to show you how to do it nice and easily today. First thing we're going to do is talk about some of the equipment that you might want to have handy. If you've got a small dog, like a Shih Tzu or a Maltese, these little scissors are excellent to use. They're nice, they're easy, and believe it or not, they clip very fast. So a nice, simple product if you have a short, small dog. Some people like to use it what they call a guillotine style, which has a hole in the center, and you stick the dog's nail through and just clip. What's nice is you can see the blade. You can really get an idea of where you're cutting, and it's really very little guesswork whether you're cutting high or low. I prefer to use the clippers. The reason why is they're nice, they're fast to use, you get a good clean cut, and I also find that sometimes when you're using guillotines, a lot of times the dog's paw or nail might be too close to the paw and you can't get this around it. So this eliminates that problem. So really, really nice to use. There's no right, there's no wrong. It's really a matter what you're comfortable using. Another piece of equipment that some people like to use is a drum. It's kind of like a nail file. It has a couple of different speeds depending upon the dog. And it's really nice, especially if the dog or you are a little jury making that clip. You can just do a little bit at a time, grind and look at the nail, grind and look at the nail, until you get into the length that you need. So again, a really nice product. You also might want a nail file. Again, when you're clipping, you might have a little jagged edge. The nail file brings it down nice and easily for you. Another thing you want to have handy is septic powder. Septic powder is designed that if you do cut the nail a little too close and you make the dog's nail bleed, First, don't panic, it's okay. It happens a lot. Just put a little septic powder on it, hold it onto the cut or the nail, and it will stop bleeding in about three to four minutes. If you haven't got septic powder, cornstarch is really good, or flour is very good as well. And it's all you'll need to get yourself started, besides having a dog to clip nails. I'm gonna show you how to do the nails with my favorite dog in the whole world, Susie, the Smooth Collie. When I first had Susie, she used to hate to have her nails done. And the way I got her used to it was I would take the clipper and I would rub her feet with it. And just kind of rub her all over with it. And then I would take my bag of treats and we'd also give her a treat. Because Susie, do you like treats? Oh yes, Susie loves treats. So there you go. There you go. So we kind of try to make it a game. Sit down, honey. Sit down again. Susie, you want a treat? Sit down, sweetie. Sit down. Sit down. Susie, sit down. Sit. That's my girl. Now to clip the nail, all we're going to do is take the paw like this. Okay. Try to highlight the nail a little bit. And we're just going to clip a little bit of it. Hey, Susie, you're being a little tough this morning today, aren't you? There we go. And we just clip a little bit of it off. Okay, Susie. Come on. Now the reason why, you see I have a table here, but I know you guys don't. So I'm showing you how to do it without having a grooming table. And most of you people are going to want to bring it on the floor. Now you also notice Susie has a white nail. And the white nails are a lot easier to trim because you can see where the quick is. The black nails are a lot tougher because then you've got to kind of guess a little bit. If you've got a white nail like this, a lot of times it's good to take the first nail. Stay Susie. See, it looks a little herky jerky and we just clip. And again. Now we've got a basic pattern that I can follow with the rest of the nails. And then I'll pretty much know that it's safe to clip over there without any blood. And you can see we have that nice black spot there too. So we basically clipped this about as far as we can go. Good girl, honey. Good girl. Now another thing you want to make sure you don't forget that is called the dew claw. This dew claw can really cause a lot of problems if neglected. Sometimes what people do, especially when they have long haired dogs like Shih Tzus or Maltesers, that nail can literally grow and wrap around and grow right into the skin. And I've seen it happen. And then it's really hard to get that thing out and when it does, it hurts. So you really want to make sure that you don't neglect that dew claw and always clip it along with all the other nails. So we're going to give that dew claw just a nice little trim there. There we go, that's my girl. Oh, that's my girl Susie. And you can see we're right at the black dot. Now you can see we're getting a little bit of red there, so we went a little too close. All we're going to do is take the septic powder right here. And we 
just take a little bit on our hands. Uh, I got a new bottle fresh for you, Susie. Just take a little pinch. And all we're gonna do is just hold it right on there. That's it. And we're gonna just hold it for about a minute. There you go, honey. She's done. And that's all you do is flip a nail.